How is the older market regarded when it comes to ageism? What parallels can be drawn with the UK? And what indeed are the differences? We have three outstanding contributors to today's session, all the way from the US of A. It's Adrian Berg, Karen Sands, and Sharon Solomon Rose. Every day, there are 10,000 boomers turning 65. The older 65 and older is a larger percent of the population than the 18 and under. The 50 plus age cohort currently contributes 8.3 trillion to the US economy each year, projected to grow to 12.6 trillion by 2030. It is an incredibly exciting place. And too many of us in the business world have left the money on the table and have not paid attention. We are the market that is bolstering the entire travel industry worldwide. We are curious, we are healthy enough to travel. And of course, those with mobility issues have secondary ways to do it. The entire markets are in shift with regard to our demographic uh, and the longevity dividend is that the GNPs of countries are really prospering because as we live longer, healthier, we spend more. And that's the optimism that I see. The amount of money that's spent in the beauty industry, over $100 billion in revenue. Skin care is projected to generate up to $177 billion by 2025. Beauty companies spent an estimated $7.7 billion in advertising 2022. Worldwide, L'Oreal is the largest beauty company in the world. Different companies that have now made the adjustment to drop anti-aging, anti-wrinkle, and instead use positive images of those who are older and older -er, and positive language that helps us embrace and understand that aging is cool. CoverGirl, which is part of Cody, has a new name, a new image. They're called Simply Ageless Makeup. The CEO of Cody brought this up as undefined beauty aims to undefine rather than simply redefine beauty so that no one feels excluded by the definition of examples that accompany it. Some people listening here will be around 30 years old. So you have to walk in the shoes of the people, the market that you're speaking to. So you show us as visible, and you'll see that slide with the terrific advanced style guru, Iris Apfel. She makes herself very visible. She's a fashion icon, right? We are not incontinent. I am sick and tired of ads that show us do, sitting on a bench and there's a little bladder walking around and the bladder makes us always go to the bathroom. Well, no. And the third thing is we are not incompetent. We are extremely competent, regardless of the wrinkles. We can be visionaries. So think of who you are talking to, not who you are. I want you to know that you're here with other marketers. We are just not people who are in the aging field. We are also known marketers. So we speak your language, but we have a long way to go to realize that age is beautiful. This is the world of the future. If you want in, get in now.